lower leg vein insufficiency with varices is a very common middle age and elderly people disease. Echo Doppler exam is the gold standard to define in a very accurate way the details of functional and morphological defects. Saphenous vein operations are actually mostly managed on an outpatient day surgery basis. Recently, it has been defined an interluminal fiber optic approach to vein dilatation and insufficiency by means of a diode laser wavelength 860 nanometers. In the following movie, you see the mini invasive venous lumen approach with a guide catheter that avoids skin incisions with the knife. The direct vein approach is rather deserved to difficult excess vein segments or twisted and kinked vein branches. In this case, the vein wall is exposed and cut through. Phlebotomy gives access to the fiber optic that is pushed upward to the apex of incompetent tract, choosing with the eco-color Doppler the right start point for emitting laser light. The light has monochromatic waveform and its heat producing effect makes damage to endothelial wall through a denaturating action mechanism such as to seal its lumen without perforating the wall thickness. When the procedure is performed with local anesthesia, the pain is very low because of the quick withdrawal of the optic fiber from the apex to the outlet. Here you see the red spotlight of intravenous laser light transilluminating the skin. This is the post-op Doppler evaluation of venous parietal wall damage. Some sclerosing injections can complete the procedure and immediately the operated patient is discharged from the operating room. Medication requires steady compression by sponge rolls on the vein long axis and elastic. A week later, at the control checkup, we observed that the leg skin is well preserved with no burn damage due to laser heat and no vein disease. At Doppler examination, the only echemotic appearance up in the tide In this second case, we have a 45 years old lady with left leg venous insufficiency who underwent local anesthesia and catheter introduction. Through its lumen, the optic fiber is inserted and the vein inner wall is destroyed by the laser light heat. In some districts, a 3-4 mm phlebotomy gains the access to Safin's difficult to approach segments. Back and forth fiber movements produce a very accurate intimate destruction and prevent relapse. The surgeon feels the temperature of the skin covering the fiber optic and the vein segments.
again, sponge rolls and German cotton medication are covered by elastic bandage and the patient is discharged immediately. As to the elastic stocking in the follow-up, they have to be strong enough to flatten the subcutaneous leg veins without inducing artery ischemia that is very dangerous especially in elderly people where the cubitus ulcers are observed sometimes. Elastic stocking is used on the other leg in the interval between the first and the second contralateral operation.